Hi, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections, and today's topic is melted vinyl siding. Vinyl siding is a good product. If water leaks behind it, the wall can dry out pretty quickly if the water ever even reaches the wood structure of the home. I do like vinyl siding, but I'll admit, this type of siding is not as durable as many other types of siding. It melts really easily. Maybe at around 160 to 165 degrees, vinyl siding can melt and deform. Now, if you come across a house that has melted vinyl siding about yay high and it's right outside the patio door, we all know what caused that. Somebody had their grill too close to the house. To be safe, I'd, I'd say keep your grill maybe six to 10 feet away from the house. That will reduce your chances of melting your siding. Now, the other way that you could add melted siding is reflected sunlight. I know it's crazy, and there's a few factors that need to be taking place at the same time to cause this, but it really does happen, and we've seen this on countless homes. It's recognized by the Vinyl Siding Manufacturers Institute, by the National Association of Home Builders. You can find information about this all over, and now I'm just one more source of that information. So, Here's how it happens. You've got the sun fairly low in the sky. This doesn't happen so much in the summertime because in the summer, the sun is way high in the sky. When you have the sunlight hitting a window and reflecting off of it, it's just gonna reflect back down to the ground. So you gotta have the sun fairly low in the sky hitting what's probably going to be a neighbor's window. It's gonna hit your neighbor's window. It's gonna, the sunlight is gonna bounce off that window and it's gonna come back onto your house or vice versa if it's, you get it. And that window, if it has a low E coating, that means low emissivity, it means that instead of letting a bunch of heat from the sun pass through the window and heat the house up during the summer, which is not what we want, it's got this low E coating and it kicks all that heat right back out, or at least most of it, maybe a lot of it. I don't know how much, a lot more than what would otherwise come through the window. And it, it basically turns your window into kind of a mirror when it comes to heat transfer. So you've got a low E coated window, it kicks off a ton of heat. Now, normally this wouldn't be a bad thing because if you take a square piece of glass and you get the sun's reflection, you are going to have a square reflection. It's gonna look a little bit like this. Now, this is a contrived reflection, I'll admit. I actually used a mirror to take this picture and it wasn't completely square as I was leaning it up in my backyard. So uh, it's, it's a good enough example. You get my point. The reflection from a window will be, it won't be square, it'll be rectangular. But if you have a hurt window, a defective window, then you can actually get a curved reflection from that window, which will concentrate the sun's heat into a very small area. Now, that's a different topic. I'm not gonna get into it deep today, but the long and short of it, is it would be a window with a condition called collapsed glass. This is a subset of a failed window seal. It technically does have a failed seal, but instead of allowing gas to leak out from the two panes of glass and then have air come in, the gas leaks out and nothing comes back in. And that means you've got these two panes of glass that get sucked in towards each other, creating a curve in the glass, and that's what creates this funky reflection where you've got sunlight really concentrated. So that's, that's collapsed glass. When you've got a window with collapsed glass, low E coating, wintertime conditions, and a house in the right place where you can get these reflections on that house, it's enough heat to melt and distort vinyl siding. Now, what do you do about this? What's the fix? I don't have any great fixes. I mean, most of the time when you've got distorted vinyl siding, it's a cosmetic issue it doesn't actually affect the performance of the vinyl siding. It's still going to protect the wall below it. It's still gonna keep water out. I mean, maybe in very extreme cases where it's really curled up, I might've seen that once or twice in my life, maybe it would be worth replacing the siding. Otherwise, if people wanna replace that siding, it's a cosmetic thing. They're replacing it because it looks terrible. And yet, I admit, it does look terrible. So it's mostly cosmetic. Now, how can you prevent it from happening to your home? There's a number of ways. One would be to 
put obstructions in your yard like plant trees, maybe big fences, uh, maybe build a sports stadium. No, I don't know. But put some type of obstruction in between the neighbor's windows in your home. Another idea would be to make very good friends with the neighbors and convince them to do something to block that sunlight from getting to your house. Maybe it would be putting up exterior screens, insect screens. That would be enough to stop the heat. You could have them install exterior shades. These are made for windows. You could convince them to put awnings up, maybe. Now, none of these are perfect solutions, but they're ideas. Okay, that wraps it up. That is my quick summary on melted vinyl siding. Thanks for watching.